Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics Action. What I want to do today is the second of a series of three tutorials on cloud-based scorecards with um, TIBCO Spotfire Silver. Um, so in the um, first um, tutorial, I covered off just some uh, basic information about creating um, scorecards. I want to move on to some more sort of, um, wouldn't say advanced, but perhaps intermediate um, sort of level feet, um, functionality, so custom expressions, refreshing data, adding multiple data sources and multiple tabs, um, adding drill through to detail, uh, binning values, and then also some cross ta uh, tables which and conditional formatting. Um, okay, so in terms of what that actually means, this is um, the scorecard here has some of the functionality. So, first of all, we've got um, some drill through to detail functionality. So, this um, allows you to drill through to detail. So, if you select a section, the information below is the actual detail about that, and you can select large, so you know, larger chunks. And this all updates automatically. And this is the um, the great thing about in memory um, columnar type of um, data storage. It's really snappy, even with large large amounts large amounts of data. Um, so what we'll also add in are these um, hierarchies. So we can add these time hierarchies, which um, very easily in uh, in Spotfire. So for example, rolling from year to um, quarter. To, uh, to month um, and I'll add what we'll also do is um, what are we going to do here what we've got down here okay we've got a um, this is a cross tab which is a bit like a sort of a, a pivot table I guess but it's got conditional formatting in it um, and then we'll also do some frequency distributions with um, um, so binned uh, spend amounts Okay, yeah, and before I forget, you can get these um, the sample files that I'm the raw data files, sorry, that I'm uh, building these scorecards on from my website, and that is analyticsinaction.com. And if you just click on reporting, and then look for this creating cloud-based scorecards uh, with Tipco post, go down to the bottom, and you'll be able to access the files. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is just show you how to refresh data. So I'll just use the example from tutorial one. Um, so the, the process that you follow will depend on whether you're connecting to a, um, a data source which has a static name, so the name stays the same um, through time, or whether um, the actual name of the underlying file changes. So if, for example, you're connected to a, a database, and that table in the database stays the same, but the data just gets um, gets refreshed. All you need to do is just click on reload data, and the new data will come through. Obviously, here I've just connected to the exactly the same uh, data source, so it's the same. Um, so the same data comes through. But for example, um, so what I'd do in this situation is uh, replace a data table. So we're going to replace this this table with a new table. Click OK. I'm going to browse, and this is up to December. So that was up to October 2011. So this has got a couple of extra months. You then just make sure all the data is coming through fine. Yep, all the appropriate um, uh, formats. So yeah, that's fine. So now we've got some December 2011 data. Obviously, the order here is not right. Because the uh, because it's um, string format, but I'll show you how to address that sort of problem in this um, in this uh, tutorial. So um, what we want to do um, now is create a um, drill through to details visualization. Um, so first of all, we need to create a connect to a second data source. So this connects to as we just saw the October um, or December file. So here we want to add a new table, so we just click Add Data Tables, click Add, and then we say whether it's a file or a database. This we're going to pull through from a, um, an Excel file. We'll just call this one AA Insurance. That looks fine. So that 
that's all good. Let's we can what you can do is you can change the format of data. So for example, the amount will change the currency. I'll use a um, a, a calculated field to change this um, the month information. But you could just change it to a to a date format. Uh, in many situations, it depends. Sometimes it, it it has issues interpreting it. Sometimes it doesn't. So you just need to keep an eye on that. So that's good. We have added that. So this is called AA Insurance 2. So now that we've got multiple data sets connected to the scorecard, we've got, we've got, we can see them on the side here. If that disappears for any reason, you can just click up on the side here and go data and it becomes there. Uh, um, and then you can see it. So what we'll do is we'll create a calculated field. So edit, go down to data, uh, sorry, column properties and we're going to insert a calculated column and we're going to do a conversion, user conversion function to change the date and string format to a uh, proper date format which will then allow us to do the hierarchy. Create the hierarchy, well that's the wrong one. Conversion function, function. so we're going to do a date and we're going to insert the month and then we've got the option to add a new column name. So let's just go date. Um, uh, what are we going to call it? Month, month, year, year. For example, formatting. I actually just use let's use that format. Cool. Okay. So once we've um, we've done that, go through. If we click down on where we've, um, so it's created this default bar chart. So all we need to do is select the um, the x-axis, and we've got our new column, date column, and date format. And because it recognises that it's in date format, it allows us to create this hierarchy here. So, for example, year, quarter, month, and then this is our our zoom slider. On the left-hand side here, we've got row count, but let's replace that with a an amount. Um, another thing with calcul uh, with um, uh, you can do is also um, create custom uh, custom expressions as well. So you just click on the right hand side, and actually that's probably a, it's probably a good time to actually talk about this. So what I've done for the second tutorial, I have gone into my Tibco free Tibco account. And upgraded it from the um, from the personal plus through to a um, through to a publisher. Um, actually, this is I'm using a different account now, but um, the version I'm using now for this demo is actually the publisher trial. So this has some additional functionality, which is really handy. So um, um, so what I do is recommend for this um, trial with uh, for this um, tutorial. Sorry, with the um, because it uses some more of the advanced features, upgrade to this publisher trial, and you're able to follow follow along. So, what one of the um, one of the source one of the additional sort of features within the publisher version is about to add these custom expressions. So, this allows you to do things like, you know, rename columns, um, but also, you know, um, add a whole lot more advanced logic into uh, into the scorecards. Okay, so let's do that. And what we'll also do is color, what did I do? We'll color the graphic by department. So by default, we've got color by here, department. So we've got that functionality. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can just double click on the name up here and call this um, whatever, you know, sales. So that's awesome. Now to do the drill, oh okay, the other thing too is you, we've got this additional information up here such as the data table, marking. So marking essentially means what do you have selected and you can see that that's in, in green. Yep. So. What we can do is we can tidy that up a little bit. You can right click and say let's turn off some of that information. We could turn off marking for example, but let's turn off the data table. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll do the drill through to 
um, visualization. So select a part of the graphic and then right click and go create details visualization. So let's create a cross table. Okay, so this is um, created automatically created it as we ch select different um, piece of information. We've got you know, different data comes through. If you've got nothing selected, there's obviously no detail there. So what we'll do is we create one with what have we got here? So name versus I think that's item. So let's select on the little arrow employee. Actually, it's easier if it's selected. Employee versus, I think that's item. Cool. So um, that's some cool functionality. What we can do is remove these titles on the side of it's, you know, since they're sort of self explanatory. So you can just right click on the, uh, on this next to the graphic visualization feature. So let's turn off the axis selectors. Um, that's a cool thing about um, TIBCO and also a lot of these visualization tools. I'm doing some more uh, work at the moment with um, Tableau. Um, again, very, very intuitive tools, which is, um, which is great. So what we'll do is we'll add this conditional formatting. So it's essentially it's a heat map um, over it. So high values are red, low values are green. Right click, um, apply default color gradient. So that's a bit of a obviously looked a bit it's okay but it's not right the right sort of colors that we want so let's right click it go to properties go through to colors and this allows us to create a you know what sort of whatever color gradient we want so let's change to click on the top one here and we'll turn that to red bottom one let's say green and we can also add an inter, uh, intermediate point so let's give that say should we make it a yellow yeah, that looks, yeah, that looks, looks all right. And then we close that. So there we go. That's our, um, our cross table um, with a heat map on it. And then what we'll do is we'll um, create some binned um, values. So these are useful for frequency, frequency distributions. So let's, again, we've got this selected. We'll create another detail vision. Oh, no, actually, let's create the binned, the binned value. So again, we'll go back into the edit column properties go insert binned column and what we'll do is we will create it on the sales amount and you've got all sorts of options on how you can create these I like um, ex uh, specifying them very very clearly by just adding in the actual bin limits other because it does all sorts you know things like having distributions and stuff like that it's not immediately apparent what though what the actual values will be so this way you can specify it so we'll just go one fifty dollars hundred dollars hundred and fifty dollars so that should be okay we've got that selected Um, that's all cool. Okay, so let's create a new visualization. Oh, detail visualization. So it's going to be a bar chart. We can dra just drag that down by um, hovering over the uh, the title area, and we're going to change the x-axis to bin amount, and that's. Um, the oh, and let's change this the y-axis to a row count there we go so we see that most uh, most of the values there are zero let's roll that up let's look at the whole lot yeah less than one dollar so what you quite often want to do is actually understand what's going on there so you can actually what we have up the top here is details on demand so this is essentially just drilled through to the through to the raw data so we click on that we see down the side here this details on demand um, tabs appeared so we're going to click on the little um, undock pin let's have a look at it so what we can do is then um, tidy this up so we can drag these columns around just going to move that to first 
we're going to the amount we'll move that to last uh, I'm going to get rid of the bin value what else I've got two dates there so let's just get rid of it doesn't matter which one move one so you can see okay this is the raw data okay does that actually look right yeah looks looks pretty good and you can pretty much use this to drill down to any information so for example um, yeah so for example oh, let's just highlight this here or mark it as you can see so it's marking the blue let's uh, look at the details and we can see that okay these are all the the zero um, values zero or less the negatives are, are refunds okay so that's pretty much it I think um, let's see what else is there anything else that I'm going to cover off binning values um, I haven't okay I'll create a text box refreshing data custom expression so that's pretty much it so in terms of just adding um, adding text boxes so for example quite I use text box text box boxes a bit to actually just add explanations to the graphics so um, explanations and then if you hover over the top here you can edit that and you've got some um, formatting functionality here so sometimes I'll actually just put in a for example a, um, a video link here just add a um, add an image and then uh, hyperlink it to say YouTube and I'll use that video to explain the functionality of the video uh, of functionality of the scorecard sorry um, so that's um, pretty much it if you found this um, useful come across to my uh, my YouTube channel um, that's, and uh, what you can do is just click on click on the subscribe button that way um, that way um, every time I produce another video you'll get a, an alert the other option is to come across to my website and it's analyticsinaction.com I've got stacks and stacks of information on things uh, such as uh, well reporting predictive modeling data integration uh, and just uh, business intelligence in general